Across the world, women and girls continue to be plagued by violence, with sexual violence skyrocketing in areas experiencing conflict. Forcibly displaced women can be at 40 or 55% greater risk of experiencing intimate partner violence, as shown in many places, such as Sudan, South Sudan, Democratic Republic of the Congo, or Somalia. Such violence violates human rights, undermines development, generates instability, and makes peace much harder to achieve. This year's theme, Invest to Prevent Violence Against Women and Girls, reminds us that it's not enough to condemn acts of gender-based violence. We also need to invest in preventive and response measures. While the world is not short of crises, these are five settings where GBV funding would be most critical. In Sudan, women and girls make up 54% of the 5 million displaced people facing alarming levels of sexual violence. Since August 2021, women and girls in Afghanistan have faced mounting restrictions, bearing them from active participation in society. Despite the challenges, IOM is committed to stay and deliver in the country. In the Democratic Republic of the Congo, the funding is just 37% of the overall request, and this hinders IOM's efforts to address GBV. In Central African Republic, every passing hour, two people suffer from GBV, especially in areas with the highest levels of food insecurity. Haiti, with only 31% of the funding needed in the 2023 crisis response plan, is affected by the spiraling violence in the country. Today, I call on all stakeholders to mobilize lifeline support and resources for the safety and well being of women and girls. Violence against women is not inevitable, it is preventable.